Welcome to the new Kidsburg KidCast. I'm Christine Sorensen, your host and mom of three. Today we're talking about vaccines because we want all our kids to be healthy so they can develop their superpowers. New this year, Pennsylvania is requiring students to be up to date on their vaccinations by the first day of school, or they could be told to go home. Now, there used to be more leeway, eight months to catch up, but now it's just five days. There are still exemptions for medical and religious reasons. Also new, students entering their senior year of high school must now get an additional dose of the vaccine for meningitis. One vaccine that may be a little easier for kids this year, the flu vaccine. The CDC approved the flu mist for use again in people ages 2 to 49. Now let's get to our expert. We all want to help our little superheroes stay super healthy. And that's why this morning we are talking about vaccines with Dr. Don Middleton, family physician with UPMC. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me on. Great First, to be here. First, thank you. Why do vaccines help us stay healthy? Right. So everyone is exposed to different agents in the environment that can make them be sick. Infections like the flu or measles or something like that. And so the ubiquity of those agents, they're everywhere, means that you need to do something to protect yourself and your family and loved ones from being infected. Vaccines help your immune resistance on its own develop a, a protective level of something like an antibody in your blood or protein in your blood that protects you from being infected to begin with. So there are people who've chosen not to get vaccines for their kids for all kinds of reasons. What can happen if someone doesn't, especially a child? Yeah, well, that's really a sad decision, I think. I, I don't think people recognize that, that the impurities that come from being infected with something like flu is very, very dangerous for children. And every year we, we have some children who actually die in the U.S. Mm. Wow. and older adults die as well. So. For something like general vaccinations, everybody needs to follow the vaccine schedule, mm -hmm. adults and children, and stick with it to the very getting everything you can mm -hmm. because you want to be protected against everything you can be protected against. Yeah. So I would encourage those people who have questions about a particular vaccine to talk to their primary care physician and line up to be given as shots to make certain that they stay safe. And we think of our kids getting vaccines, but adults, some of us might need vaccines to protect our kids? Absolutely, absolutely. If you are older than six months of age and you can say goo, you need to get a flu vaccine. Everybody mm -hmm. needs a flu vaccine. The, the issue is we're not living in, in a void. We, we hug each other, kiss each other. Just a mm -hmm. sneeze can project millions of particles of flu mm -hmm. into the air. Wow. So everybody needs to be protected against things like flu or measles or, mm -hmm. or mumps or things like that that can really be problems for ourselves and for our kids. So if you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for your kids. For your kids, <laughs> right. Yeah. Parents will do that. Well, Dr. Middleton, yeah. thank you for such great advice. You'll find more on this topic at kidsburg.org, where we're helping all kids develop their superpowers. And be sure to sign up for the weekly e-blast so you're always in the know. I'm Christine Sorensen, helping make Pittsburgh Kidsburg.